Welcome back to NYC TV Live. I'm Trinity Chavez. And as the holiday season approaches, the shopping frenzy seems to be starting a little earlier than before. Retailers are rolling out deals before consumers have even picked out their Halloween costumes. To break it all down, the early shopping season trends, why retailers are pushing deals so soon, and how you can snag the best bargains without breaking the bank. I am joined now by Joni Demmer. She is the co-founder of the Crazy Coupon Lady. Joni, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. My favorite topic. <laughs> I know. We, all, we love shopping, especially during the holiday shopping season. So, But we're seeing Black Friday basically in October. Promotions are becoming more popular. So why do you think that retailers are pushing holiday deals earlier and earlier each year? And how does this impact consumer behavior? Well, you know, the facts about why this is happening are sound. Retailers have data that show them it, for shoppers who begin shopping earlier, they're very likely to spend more before the holidays arrive. And so that's the motivation behind this behavior is get you shopping earlier and more often. And while that feels a little shady and you're like, okay, great, so is your advice, don't shop early? It actually isn't. It's about flipping the script and turning this back on the retailers because the thing that they're using to lure you into that early shopping are truly legitimately great deals. And so I think that as a smart shopper, you have to begin shopping early, but you've got to make sure that you're working the system and that you have a plan, whether that's a budget, a spreadsheet, a dedicated closet where you put things when you get them. You've just got to kind of be aware of that psychology that exists. The retailers are banking that you are going to end up spending more. So as long as you go into the plan, I think it's really important. You need to start shopping early. You need to take advantage of these one-off daily deals to really save the most and maximize your money. Yeah, I know. We just saw how Amazon launched their Prime Day just last week, and then we're seeing consumers like Costco, or actually retailers like Costco, Walmart, I mean, they already have Christmas decorations up in October so consumers can purchase. But as we head into this year's holiday shopping season, how are both retailers and consumers preparing differently compared to previous years, especially with inflation and economic uncertainty? Yeah, as far as retailers, right, like they are reading reports that say some consumers are planning to spend less this year. I think we're all going to watch and, and see what actually happens there. Uh, they're also, their reports are saying that consumers are going to comparison shop more this year. Consumers are going to start shopping early and they're going to rely more on Amazon. So I think retailers, of course, have for years now have had very Amazon-centric competitive strategies, whether that's small stores and offerings in store or like old school, you know, JC Penney is still giving out the like gift cards for when you walk into the brick and mortar. Um, I think everyone's really focused on what they can do to make sure that the comparison shopper still finds their prices good and how they're going to compete with Amazon. As far as shoppers and what shoppers should be doing to prepare, you know, I say on Black Friday that everyone you follow on Instagram becomes a deal expert, right? And I too use influencers to help me get ideas for what I'm shopping for. But I think the peril there is again, back to the psychology, we've got to be aware of the power of suggestion. And so I think, you know, for sites like the crazy coupon lady, what we do is deals 365 days a year. And so even though that thing that's on your list might be on sale today on pick a day, October 27th, the deal sites are the ones that are going to know based on historical data, even though that's on sale, are we going to see a better sale before the end of December? And so I would really say, you know, download an app like Crazy Coupon Lady, set deal alerts, get strategic. This is game time. Like iBlack's on, get strategic. There are hundreds of dollars to be saved. That's the difference between people that really plan ahead and those that don't. But, you know, you really bring up a good point on how you need to seize the deal of the day for those one-off deals that are being presented to consumers. But say if you make that purchase, how do you know you're actually getting the best deal if there's still about two months left before Christmas? You know, that's, that's the hard part, right? And I think very few consumers have, you know, a spreadsheet of everything that they're got, they have with a perfect plan. So if you're not following a deal site, or even if you are, make sure that you're also, you're taking advantage of things like price adjustments. You're continuing to watch, especially if it's a, if you buy a gaming console or a laptop or something big, make sure you continue to watch the price of that item. Most stores will give you a price adjustment if the price drops again. And even if the store doesn't, it's the holidays. If it's still new in the box, you literally can buy the new deal. Like let's say Amazon drops the price and you got it at Best Buy. 
buy it on Amazon today, take it back to Best Buy with the receipt six days from now. The little extra leg work and not going to be worth it on every purchase, but on those big ticket items it might be. So basically look at the return policies, right? <laughs> you want to make sure that you get that extended return uh, if you need to exchange it for any reason. But also, what other key strategies do you recommend consumers uh, implement when it comes to making the, making the shopping season, getting, getting the most bang for their buck, in other words? You know, I mean, there's everything. It's, it's a relentless drive for the best deal. It is, it is, you know, layering codes. It is looking for extra percent off. Uh, it's buying in bulk when that makes sense. Uh, it's shopping on multiple different days at multiple different places. If your tradition, even if it's on Black Friday, is to go to one retailer and buy everything on your list, that's never going to be the best way to save money. It's about cherry picking from the best deals throughout this season, which to your point is now two months plus. A lot of important information right there. Thank you so much for joining us today on the show. Thank you.